Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So uh, this one's quite tough, so be careful. Uh, find the Taylor series for this function centered at 3. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, you can't simply just put uh, x minus 3 into into here. You can't simply just do that. If, if you, um, let's see, if you put x minus 3 squared, what adjustment would you make here in order to get this whole thing here to be the same as this? You can't make this adjustment. So, so you need an alternative method. So, so when you look at this, uh, remember in the past I've always asked you to keep an eye out for, for something easily square rootable, easily square rootable, and there happens to be a minus in between, then you can jump to this. So, uh, so rewrite this as this. Now break this up, and we've used this technique before. We need to break it up into two fractions. So let's say, uh, let's say you've got one frac. We need to break it up into two fractions. So it's going to be something plus another thing. So, we, so at the moment we've got one fraction. Our aim is to break it up into two different fractions. So, um, so, so, so let, let's say let's let's times top and bottom here by by. Um, 1 plus x, 1 plus x, uh, 1 plus x, and then over here times top and bottom by, uh, by 1 minus x, by 1 minus x. So, uh, so now we know that a times this, a times this, um, plus this times this, plus b times this, must equal 1. So, so, so we know, well this whole thing here must equal 1. So now, now we'll, I'm assuming we've done this before. So I'm assuming you can do this. So now, um, now th this thing here should work for all values of x. For all values of x. So let's it should work for all values of x. Let's just select x to be one. So when when x is one, uh, when x is one, when x is one, this thing here would be zero. Zero times b. This whole thing here would be zero. So uh, so when x is one, this will be when when x is one, this will be two a. This will be two times a, that will then give you two two a. It must equal one because this is zero. Uh, so so a must be a half. So now uh, looking back at this, when x equals negative one, when x equals negative one, so if you put negative one into here, this thing here will be zero. So um uh, and put negative one into here, this thing here one take away negative one, that would be two, two times b, so so you would have two b equals one. So b must equal a half. So if you starting from here, if you were to break it up into two different fractions, this would be a half and this would be a half. So uh, so that would then take you to here. And then now uh, and then now now um, now let me think. Um, now factor out the two so that will then give you uh, so you've got a half sorry, factor out the half. Half, half. So factor out the the half. That will then take you to here, and then uh, and then now this is something that that that's very close to what we had right from the start. You know, right from the start, we, uh, we 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 can make use of this. It's very close to this. So hang on, going back to here, going back to here. So we were we were here, and we we know that this is very familiar to us. So uh, so now let's let's make some some adjustments. Because we are trying to evaluate it at um, at at c equals three, we uh, we can now insert um, x minus three into here. So uh, so that will then give us this. But then we need to make the adjustment. We now we so 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 if you insert x minus three into here, here you've got positive three. So you need to um, you need to negate that positive three. So take away three. Now this. This whole thing here is exactly the same as this, but just written differently. And then looking at this here, we need to, because we are evaluating it at, at uh, c equals 3, we need to put x minus 3 into this x here. So that would then be 1, 1, plus, plus, this x minus 3, x minus 3. So here you've got, uh, here you've got minus 3. So we need to negate that minus 3, so add 3. So, so now this, is exactly the same as this. This here is exactly the same as this, but just written differently. So now tidy this up. So um, so tidy tidy the two up, and then tidy this up. That will then give you a four. And then, hang on. And then, um, and then what? Let me think. 
uh, and then uh, and then what? Let me think. So 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 hang on. Well, so so we are currently here at the moment. So now um, now looking at this, fac uh, factor out the two because our aim our aim is to get uh, our aim is to get one over one plus something. So uh, so here you've got a two here. So so factor out that um, that two there. So that will then from from here that will then take you to here. Because if, if you look at this here, you've got one fraction multiplying another fraction. So top times top will be one, and then negative two times one that will then give you this, and then negative two times this, the two will cancel each other out. That will then give you this. Basically, um, this whole basically this whole thing here can be rewritten as this. So you've got one fraction multiplying another fraction. So you've got one fraction multiplying another fraction. So if you get this two times this, that will then give you this. This negative two times this, that will then give you this. And then do the same for for this one here. So you've got you've got a four here. Uh, your aim is to get one over one plus something. So you so that you want the one here. Well here you've got a four. So factor out the four. So uh, so uh, so this whole thing here can be rewritten as one thing times another thing. So if you get this times this, that will then give you your four. This times this, that will then give you this. So now, um, now, now you've got one thing, one block, multiplying another block, and then this times this, that will then give you uh, negative four, and then uh, and then this times this, that will give you one over eight. I will continue in the next video. We we are currently here at the moment, uh, and then. Uh, so so now if you look at this, you've got one block multiplying another block, and then you've got one block here multiplying another block. You see this, uh, this block here is of this form. So we we can now break it up. See this block here is of this form. So we can now break it up. I will continue in the, in the next video. We are currently here. Okay.